a good night's sleep is something so many of us struggle with. Turns out there are things we unknowingly do that sabotage our sleep, and there are some tricks to help you sleep better. So I visited a local sleep lab and talked to the director to learn the do's and don'ts of a great night's sleep. So we're going to measure your scalp so that we know where to place the electrodes. I'm getting hooked up so they can monitor everything from my brain waves to my breathing, my heartbeat, my leg movements, even possible snoring. I'm in one of the sleep labs for the AHN Center for Sleep Medicine. The director tells me we all make simple mistakes that get in the way of great sleep. And he says it's a myth you can make up sleep on the weekends. Metabolically, all the stuff that sleep deprivation does to you, that keeps going on. And that can lead to gaining weight because your hormones are out of whack. You start to eat more, you eat worse food. What about the idea you should stay in bed because eventually you'll fall asleep? If you're not falling asleep within 15 or 20 minutes, get up and get out of the situation. The other way? Yeah. Okay. I can go the other way. As for me, once hooked up, they guide me into bed and close the door, but they're watching my every move from another room. He's in stage two sleep. Dr. Shade says avoid computers and phones before bed because their blue light works against you. The room should be dark, quiet, perhaps white noise machine is good. He says it's best to keep it cool in the 60s. In fact, you start to sleep when your body temperature curve starts to drop. So here's a trick. A warm bath at night, you know, get your body temperature up as it starts to decline about an hour after your bath or your shower you start to tend to want to fall asleep. It's an old wives tale, but it works. And what did they learn about my sleep? Well, for one thing, I can't deny that I snore any longer. <coughs> Caught on video. They can even chart it. As for what else they find, we're going to share that later this morning on Pittsburgh Today Live. What a horrible noise I make. I think it's actually quite gentle. <laughs> you think? Yeah. I don't My know. My husband sounds, some, sounds, sometimes I sound like a truck driver pulling the. Do you sound like that? Like the big horn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I it, sleep it, very well, I will tell you though. <laughs> in addition to what they discovered about me, we're also going to talk about sleeping with a pet, whether that's a good idea, oh, good. secondhand snoring, like how that affects you when your partner <laughs> is snoring, and also the right way to take a nap, because there's a right way and a wrong way, so that's coming up. All right.